These are the funniest pranks of the year. From buying guns dressed as kids to delivering 1,000 pizzas to strangers, this video gets crazy. And to start, we're gonna be selling fake beer. That, that sounds little bit. I mean, this right here is non-alcoholic beer. There's literally no alcohol in this. Come get your cold beer. Let's get loose. You want some beer? Legally sell beer. Yeah, I could. I'm selling right now. You want some cold beer? Okay, thank you. Oh, man. Ice cold. How are you able to sell it? What are y'all doing here? Let's go with your ID. Oh my ID? You buying or not? No. They special out for a little kid. I got a business to run. Come get your cold beer. Ladies drink free. Uh. Kids half off cold beer. Ice cold. Not a cop again. How old are you? Gonna be selling beer? You want one? No. People are calling on you. What's the issue? It's beer. It's 0% alcohol. What are you guys doing down here? Selling beer. Okay, well, he can't be doing this. Why? Because he's underage. It's non-alcoholic. It doesn't matter. He bought it from the store. We already talked to a cop. You want some? No. We just need to see your ID first. So if you need to see my ID, then... We only want to sell to like 21 plus. How old are you? What, what's the issue, sir? If you don't want to identify yourself, walk away. I'm asking you what okay. the issue is. I'm telling you to walk away what because you're refusing to identify yourself to me. Here's my ID. I was just asking why. Okay. We're moving. You're not going anywhere right now. <laughs> There's four cops here now. And while the first cop still had my ID in the car, one of the other cops approached us. How's it going, sir? Here, you want to check this out? 0.0 free alcohol. Yeah. Okay. You think that it's okay that you can be down here with a child advertising cold beer? It's non-alcoholic. Legally, what is wrong with that? What it's a First Amendment right that he has to hold this sign. Do you want cop child service to make that decision? I'm just saying that's a First Amendment right. Just please find you somewhere else away from down this area right. to do what you're doing. So where, where do we, where do we go? I'm not sure. But In the meantime, we'll just head out. Okay, thank you. So we packed everything up and we're ready to leave on good terms. But we had to wait on the first cop to give me my ID back. So per our, uh, I talked to our new- Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna ticket? You're going to court. Why? Because of violation of transient merchant. All right, we're going. I need oh. some information too. Why? We're because leaving. If you want to keep running your mouth, dude, I will take you to jail. He just said we could leave, sir. Okay. Come on, to go. No, you're not going anywhere. Do you understand that you're not in charge? Call your mother right now. She right. could pick you up. Now look, look what you got. What do you mean, look what I, we were literally on our way out. You guys and you do realize yeah, that to the... first, at first refusing to, to give me your information and me telling you to walk away and you telling me you're going to stand right here, you know that's arrestable, right? I gave you. You know my... that's arrestable, right? I'm explaining to you. You know it's arrestable, right? I gave I you was my called... ID. Be quiet. See, that's your problem. Oh, you be quiet. You just asked me a question. D did I tell you to answer yet? I was calling here for a biracial male in a red sweatshirt. Are you a biracial male? Are you a biracial male? I'm asking you a question. You can answer it now. I'm unaware. You're unaware. You are really pushing the line. Today's Saturday. She won't answer. You, go to jail, you won't get out until Tuesday. Let me talk to you for a second over here. I'm not mad at you at all. You're not doing anything wrong. I looked it up. Okay. I have to go to court because I was selling something without a permit. You might get a death penalty for that. <laughs> so even after having multiple cops tell us it was okay to set up our stand in a different location, we still had to go to court and pay a $200 ticket and $150 in court fees. But we weren't done yet. Excuse me. Hold up. I was fined $200, you know, rub it in the government's face. I'm gonna give you $200. Stop. No, seriously. Get the out of here, man. No, I'm serious. I'm just going through financial problems and shit. I got hospital bills right now. I'm glad to help you out, man. We almost go to jail again later, but... Now we're gonna see if people will believe that Brady is actually the most famous person in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo. Him and I look nothing alike, but soccer is not that popular in America. And it also helps that we have seven bodyguards here with us as well. After walking around in public and getting some very curious looks, a few people did want pictures. Congratulations on the championship, guys. <laughs> right. hey, let's get a photo. Nice job. I played soccer for seven years. You know Cristiano Ronaldo? No? But no one seemed to really know who Ronaldo was. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Huh? Wait, what? They just want a picture with Mantis now because of his body. Yeah, it moves. <laughs> 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 but after this, we entered a hotel and stumbled across Ronaldo's biggest fan. Oh, do you know him? I don't. He, well, he just got back from the World Cup. Oh, that's, that's awesome. pretty impressive. Cristiano that is, Ronaldo. That is Ronaldo? Yeah. yeah. That's Ronaldo right there? Yeah. That's Ronaldo Ronaldo? Yes. That dude is what? famous. No, yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't really know soccer around here. But... Oh, my goodness. This dude is, like, famous. Yeah. Oh, you know, can I hold yeah, it? Yeah, sure. Just don't yeah. steal it. This is awesome. 
Congratulations, man. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. We're gonna go vape around some adults dressed as kids and see if people even care. We're like out here for our middle school. Say, I'll go middle school. That's crazy. What's your favorite thing about middle school? Uh, recess. We just bought this vape for $150 and filled it with nicotine-free juice. We're gonna be saying we're fake ages in these clips, but we're all adults. There's no children vaping in this video. Well, I'm only 14. You wanna vape with us? No, I'm good. What do you think about minors vaping? Not my problem. Do you care? No. Nope. What are you like? I'm 15, I don't have a car to get home. Is there any way you could drive me? You're 15? Can I start a cigarette? Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I'm 14 and I vape this. Should I stop? I'm a nurse. <laughs> How young do you think you like? It's too young to vape, like 10, 9? Probably three or four years old. Oh, it's so like if they're five, they, should, they can vape? Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. You're only hurting yourself, right? I'm bigger than a hoe! How's it going? I'm 14 years old, so I'm not old enough to buy vapes. There's a vape shop up the road. Can you take me there? Can you switch the camera and get away from me? No, wait. No, wait. Why? What's wrong with you, you f***ing weirdo? What do you mean? Go away. Do not talk to me. I'm just trying to get buzzed. We're just trying to get somebody to buy us vape juice. We're not going to buy you vapes, so piss off. F*** off. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Frick, dude. <laughs> We're getting followed right now. All right, they're following us. Please stop. Sir, um, I didn't give you guys permission to record me. I'm gonna call someone. We literally, we're, we are leaving. Sorry, sir, the nicotine's getting to my head. Look, bro, that guy's calling the cops. Excuse me, guys. Yeah. You guys know what there is to do around here for minors, like 13, 15 age, like myself? Everything's gonna be closed today. Yeah, I didn't know if there's like anything special going on for the youth like me. No. Nope. Thank you guys, have a good one. Yep, you too. Now we are about to try and sneak into the Indy 500. This is a massive race here in Indiana, and we're hoping these yellow vests and this ladder is going to be enough to make the security believe that we're just workers here, and hopefully we can just walk right in. Just trying to find a weak spot that we can just go through. About to go through the first layer of security. Hi. Y'all work here? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Uh, guest suite. For what? Chris. I don't know. You need a ladder up there, a light bulb or something. Uh, I don't know about that. Hold on. From beginning to end, please watch. They said we're going somewhere, but I, I don't like just a plain yellow vest, no other thing. I don't know. Like we're grounds crew here at the at the motor speed. Oh, you're, you're the grounds crew? Yeah, we we work here through the year. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you, sir. There's no way they just believe that, bro. We just snuck into the biggest sporting event in the world. So this is a massive concert that goes on during the race. It cost $84 extra to get into this party. And we're just going to try to sneak in. Over here, over here. Okay. You did? So I just bought some gas at the gas station here. I bought a little bit too much gas, so I need to go to try to return this. How's it going, man? Just a uh, return on some gas. I got like three extra gallons in here. I'm just returning it. We can't return it. Oh, why? There's no policy. You don't return gas? We don't return, no. Nope. I can't like... Man, I'm gonna hit you. Don't do that, man. Are you crazy? Just get up, man. Get the f*** up. Okay. Are you crazy, man? This is my real ID. In America, you're told that you can own a gun when you're an adult. So today, Owen and I are gonna see if we can buy some guns before acting like 12-year-old kids. I've never held an AR-15. Hello. Hello. I wanna buy that one. <laughs> they have this in Fortnite. I'm just wanting to get like a little pistol or something just like half at the house. How old are you? How old am I what? How old are you? I mean, we're in Cub Scouts, so. Yeah. How old do you have to be? 21. That's not gonna work. Hiya! <coughs> I don't have any like government issued ID and I'm a violent criminal. Best place for that is probably the streets. Ah, oh, this place is awesome! Bro, they have like pink little kid guns. Alright, let's go check out. Are you 18? Are you 18? I'm in Boy Scouts. I need to see your ID. Do you have your ID? You handed me the gun, I have to have your ID. I have a library card. Shut the camera off, bud. You filming us, Bubba? So basically my predicament. You I don't have a driver's license. I know, I do. I've clowned around with you enough, <coughs> I'm not selling you a gun. 
All right, well, we'll just get like a knife then, probably. I'm not gonna sell you even a knife. Shut up a Nothing like coming to Walmart to pick up a shotgun. Do you know if you have any rocket launchers? No. I'm technically an illegal immigrant. Can we do a background check? I'm just trying to debate if my mom would approve or not. She said if I made honor roll, then I could buy a gun, but I did not make honor roll. You can't buy a gun. Do you sell shotguns to minors? Oh. Can I help you find anything? I'm looking for something like this. A scar is a pretty special gun. We can hold that though. You have an idea on it? Yeah. What were you thinking about using this for? Like I said, we are in Boy Scouts, but also my neighbor, he's got like a cat. It's just kind of, yeah. You guys can get out. Why? Because I just heard anybody said so. You just said you might shoot a cat, so. I didn't say anything about shooting the cat. It's time for you to go. I'm not gonna repeat myself. Do you want to have the police escort you out or do you want to leave on your own? Can he buy one? No, it's time to go. I know we're living in a communist country. That guy just denied us our second amendment rights. So before we tried to buy an AR-15 from a stranger, we went to a place that fights for our right to own guns, the largest gun convention in America. There's hundreds of companies here selling the best guns on the planet. So we're gonna spoil the convention and try to find the perfect gun for us to take home. And hopefully we don't get shot. Yeah, so this model here goes for 17. $17? $1,700. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, do you sell meth? Sell what? Meth. Meth? Yeah. No. Oh. Uh, uh, Do you have any like 15 and under discounts? 15 and under what? Like age. You're only 15 years old, you can't buy a gun. Oh. Even if it's like a gift we can't? No. I didn't know that. Don't worry, dude, you'll get over. I've got four more years. My mom took away my gun and I can't find a vendor that will sell to me now. Oh, uh, 11. 11. No, yeah, I actually am. <laughs> okay. Trying to make our first gun purchase. How young are you? I'm 14. Whoa. We're actually going on like a hunting trip soon. Would we be able to bring like any of these on the plane, do you think? No. We spent the next few hours trying to buy a gun until security confronted us for filming. Sir, you need to turn that on. Yeah, I'm with the NRA, okay? I'm lead of security. I need you guys to follow me to room 121. I don't know if I want to go. Could we just leave? Yeah, yeah absolutely. All right. But as we were leaving, they tried to take our camera. There. Right now you have illegal video. Let video. me see. No, do not give them the camera. We're gonna take them for you. If we can't record, we understand. We'll leave. We'll yeah. leave after they have a conversation. We then got brought into a private room. Stop recording. Here, I'm gonna take all your electronic devices. Yeah. Can we leave? No. We're legally being detained right now? Yes. Right now you're being detained. You said that we could leave in there. No, I right. did, but you chose to come here. They said we had to come in here. Yeah, because your partner here wants to refuse to cooperate. The head boss eventually came and made us leave, ruining our chances to buy a gun. But after talking to a ton of gun owners, we knew exactly what to do next. Now we're about to go buy a gun from a stranger we met online. I have a job Morant jersey on and $300 in cash. And hopefully we don't get robbed. This is gonna be awesome. The guy's about to be here. This kind of feels like a drug deal, but it's completely legal. If we buy a gun from an individual person, then we don't need a background check or license like you would at a gun store. As long as this guy assumes that we're over the age of 18, he does not even have to see our ID. Which is good, because I kept mine up. Awesome gun! This is an awesome gun! What's the best way to... It, right? Yeah. What's the best way to hold it? You ever held a gun for? Uh, it's just to take class. Well, you said uh, 270, right? I was 300. Something you'd see in Call of Duty right here. Closest I've ever been to a real gun. That's good. I know it's kind of ironic I have a job wearing jersey on. We have like a basketball practice later for school. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, thank you, man. Have a good one. You too. We just got a pistol on the very first try, but now we can legally conceal carry this pistol out in public with no license or permit, thanks to our state laws. We got $700 in cash, and we're gonna buy one of the most popular guns in America, an AR-15. How's it going? Third rifle. Cool, cool. We've saved up a lot of allowance money for yeah. the past few months, That's yeah. That's cool, man. I think it's 308 rounds. That'll work. Have fun with it. <laughs> yeah, we will. I've never held an AR-15 before. Yeah. Do a little research on it yeah. before you get all hurt. How much was it? 700. I can only get 20s, but. <laughs> no problem. Money's money. Here, let's throw this in the car real quick. Okay. You don't need to drop too much. We were just wanting something to carry every day for self-defense. Yeah. That should be 300. Yep. 300. Yep. And then the last 100. All righty. Thanks, guys. Let's go. Well, we got an AR-15. If you're underage, do not try this on your own. And if you're an adult, then be sure to look into your state laws. Us buying all these guns was completely illegal for everyone involved since we are over 21. Hi, uh, DoorDash for Richard. Richard, not us. Oh, you're not Richard? No. What's the address? Oh, it's this address. Did you not have the dead fish? No. Oh, you didn't get this? What's going on? Do you want it? No, thanks. I'm about to do the mannequin scare prank. I do not know what story would have me on display. Like, I'm just like anti-drip right now. You look like slender, man. Do I, I don't look like a mannequin? I can only see like when somebody's like right next to me. 
Ski. Oh wow, that is wild. You just about got your knee to the nuts. Damn, that is just a mannequin. I know what oh, it is. Oh, <laughs> no, that's a person. Hey, that is, is a person. Will somebody touch me? <laughs> no. It's, it's funny. That it's I, do, I, sorry, is there somebody in front of me? Because I, if we have to leave, I don't care. Okay, let me try to take this up. I appreciate it. I thought it was really funny. They actually thought I was a mannequin. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I'm trying to buy crystal meth, and I didn't know if you guys could help me out with like a few extra dollars. It's not this time. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks. So I think Martel and I are about to get kicked out. Cops approaching us right now. But luckily, I took a picture of him in this mall earlier. What's going on, sir? <gasps> oh my gosh! You're the cop from Instagram. Look, sir. Stop that, please. Sir, is this you from Instagram? I said stop. Did you hear me? Stop it. It's off. Okay, all well, you guys hold here, please. Why? Why? Are we, are we, are we, yeah, are we being detained? No. So are we free to go? No. What? You have to wait. Uh, what if I don't want to? If you don't, then I have no choice to call 911. Why you have that picture in you? It's like a famous picture. This post has 14,000 likes. Exactly. That's not good. Can I see that? Go ahead, take a picture of that. That's probably it. Yeah, that's the. Mm -hmm. I need to run down. On what's I need to run down too. We'll, we'll, we're gonna stay stop, here. Stop, Why you still got the camera? Hey, put the camera down. Come on, seriously. They can't record you. Oh. They can't record you. Thank you, sir. At this point, I'm gonna ask you guys to leave. Yeah, you're cool though, man. I appreciate Thanks, you. Man. Thank you. Later, we buy vapes dressed as kids. But first, we went to the dumbest town in America to see how stupid it really is. What's your name? They call me Lil Wayne. What's the farthest you went in school? I said I went to uh, eighth grade. I started in eighth grade. Who was the first president of the United States? First president of the United States. It wasn't uh, Molly King, was it? Uh, yeah. Molly King, okay. What's the biggest bird in the world? I think an owl. Name one book. What, I'm talking about just name a book? Just name any book. Just name a book or something? Yeah. Any, any kind of book? Any book literally to ever exist. You're gonna be all right, I can't even get a wild guess. I really just don't know, I just can't. Yeah. I, I really don't know. What's the biggest planet literally in the entire universe? That's easy. Well, I know it ain't Pluto, I said Mercury. Mercury, correct, yep. What happened on 9-11? I'm lost there. Who is the president of the United States? I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, John F. Kennedy? No. No. I don't know who the president is. Huh? What about 36 divided by 6? Ooh, they're going to be 8. Is it A-O? Yeah. <laughs> What's the furthest education that you have? I went here in Jackson. Then I went to Harvard. You went to Harvard? Yes, sir. What did you study there? Uh, science and uh, business. All right, so just a few trivia questions we're asking people. What year is it? Uh, 2022, I think that's what Yeah, yep, yep. How many sides are on a triangle? Oh, man, you just said <laughs> five. It's three. three. But yeah, close enough. What about the bottom? Oh, true. I forgot about that. Name the president of the United States, and I'll give you $10. Donald Trump. Yep. Correct. There you go, man. Did you happen to be mayor? Yes, sir. We're reactivating what you call the homeless squad. That is actually police officers dressed up as homeless people and living out here on the streets. You don't have to tell me, but you're an undercover cop? Yes, sir. I sure am. The first one of you guys to name three books, I'll give him 10 bucks. Any three books? Uh, I read, uh, y'all haven't been reading? I haven't. It's just like now that he's asking me the question, I don't even know the name so of the book. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, dog, what's the other oh, book I, I just one. read? Diary of Whippy Key. Dog Man. <laughs> and, um,. Have another pain. Hey, there you go. That counts. What's like the highest you uh, went in school? Seventh. Why'd you quit after seventh grade? Too much learning. How many planets are there? Nineteen. Name one Asian person. Einstein. Einstein? How do you spell Mississippi? M I S S I P P I. Do you know who Robert Downey Jr. is? I know who he is. He was out in the Middle East filming a movie or something, and he was kidnapped by the Taliban. They think he's the real life Iron Man. That's wild. Approximately 18 hours ago, there was a government confirmed alien sighting. Some pretty scary shit. The government confirms that it's, you know, it makes it a reality. I think when people think that they're smart, they just instantly become smarter. For $20, who is the president of Argentina? Uh, Antonio Johnson. I don't know. I don't know. Bro, no, that was right. Yeah. You serious? Yeah, that was right. Boy, there you go. How many countries are in the world? Twelve. Twelve is actually correct. Cool. Who painted the Mona Lisa? In Tokyo? That's correct. Whoa. Can you name three of the twelve countries? I barely even know about countries. Doesn't matter. Now we're gonna do something pretty much impossible. If you can tell me how many Mike and Ikes are in this jar, I'll give you forty dollars. Oh Lord. Three hundred. Three hundred. Fifty. Fifty. Five. We didn't talk to you earlier, did we? No, that's right. <laughs>
Would you like to do a quick interview real quick? Oh yeah. What do you do? Oh, I rap. Is that like what you're trying to become yeah. a rapper? Yeah. I've been rapping since high school. What keeps you going? Oh, basically I got a son, so I just had a baby. I have a question to ask you. Okay. If you can name one book, I will give you $1,000. Uh, bud, not buddy. Book. There you go. There you go. This real? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I live Mr. Beast. <laughs> Wow. So y'all ain't doing this for the camera, but I get it. No, yeah, no, this, you, is, this is your Hopefully I can help you out in any way. Y'all to try to make me cry. Damn. Yeah. yeah, appreciate that, though. No problem, yeah, bro. Bro, I needed this. I'm finna go subscribe. You got Instagram? That's my username. They All deleted right, my account because I was uh, posting nudity. <laughs> we have a fake glass bottle here. This little bottle was $30. We only have one of them, so we only have one chance to get this clip. Please don't mess up. Have you guys seen a dog? It's like a golden retriever, and it kind of got out last night. This day honestly can't get any worse. It's a few moments like this. Are you serious right now? Screw you, man. Do you guys know this guy? <laughs> he made up with my dog. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> that actually hurt. We have like $10,000 in fake $100 bills here. My toes never bought alcohol before, even though he's 21. So he's even try to have someone buy it for him. I don't quite meet the age requirement. Would you buy me something? I'm not 21. You want me to buy you something? Yeah. That one. This one? Yes, please. <laughs> no, for real, you welcome? Is this money? Is it real money? No. Why are you give it to me? Hi, nice to meet you. I didn't know if you like wanted to make out. Okay. Uh, excuse me? Okay, we I'm looking for the pepperoni sticks. Oh, the pepperoni sticks. I don't want to. Do you know where the pepperoni sticks? I don't know. I don't know. What? No, that guy was harassing me. This guy? Yeah, I asked him where something was and he wouldn't help me. Why I'm on the phone. What are you talking about? Well, you're a manager here and you wouldn't help me. I'm not a manager. I don't work here. Do you work here? No. Hey, man. Get it together. Sorry. <laughs> Do you mind telling me your least favorite race? Car race? Not car race. Are you talking about the color of someone's skin? I, I can't believe you took it in that direction. I'm talking about like Boston Marathon. You didn't say that like, at running. first, okay? Took so if you're trying to film me and cause some you better I, stop it now. I am not like that, and I am a runner. You didn't say anything about putting on your running shoes. You're trying to trick people. So don't be with me. I'm what a veteran and I'm a gun. That was the first person we've talked to today. I'm not even kidding. Oh my gosh. Now we're gonna see what happens when you deliver a thousand pizzas to strangers' houses. What you've done is criminal. We're just choosing random houses. These two buses on the top actually have pizzas in them. Hello. Wrong door. <laughs> we have 100 pepperoni. No. Are you guys like milk prepping or something? Uh, do you want to hear about this? You're the lawyer. <laughs> this order was placed and it actually saved our business. Did you really not order these? <laughs> it could be across the street. Right. Yeah, she's right there. You placed the order? Nope. The total's $987. Doesn't matter if it's $700 in the money, if it's $9.87. I actually have the police on the way, so you guys need to load up and go. Wait, why did you call the police? Because what is this? We just uh, told you. It's a pizza, pizza delivery. delivery. It sounds like a shakedown, frankly, to me. Hello there. You can order pizza. You had Domino's? I had three medium. We had an order here. It was scheduled for like 3.30. Pizza, pizza. I'm not for sure what's going on. Well, here pizza. come another one. This is crazy. 3.30, scheduled pizza? But who ordered them? Here another guy with some pizza. This is nuts. Ate your pepperoni, you ordered two. That'll be 13. I didn't order anything. Where are you from? Yeah, intercourse. I never heard of that. Pizza, pizza. Oh, I'm just calling your office to see what's going on. Yo, boss. Mister, you're about to quit, okay? There's like five people here with pizzas. What's, what's the deal? I don't know. If I were you, I'd just try to make out with Brady. Patriots Pizza, make America great again. What is this for? We didn't order anything. We have the rest of the pizza right outside. If you want to follow me. We haven't had a big order like this in months. Uh, yeah, no. Guys, we didn't order these. Let's just start stacking right here. Absolutely not. They think we ordered all these pizzas here. They were like down the street doing the same thing. What are they doing? School project? All right, let's do it. <laughs> this is a random house. <laughs> Oh. What if they're not even here? <laughs> How would they not notice? Bro, those neighbors are staring at us. I'm pretty sure they just called the cops. Your neighbors here li really like pizza. What is happening? That's they, pizza? Yeah, they, they ordered a thousand. No. <laughs> no, yeah. they didn't. It has to be an accident, right? No. Pizza, there's but... real pizza in yeah. there. Dude, I don't even know if there's any more room to like put them at. Put them in the yard, bro. Oh. No, dude. No. It's like September 11th with pizza. Hello, uh, we have your Domino's. <laughs> What's going on, party or what? You ordered a thousand pizzas. No, I didn't. We've unloaded them all. 
Are, are you Mr. Neanderthal? You, are, you ordered yesterday, correct? No. We had to bring a, a whole truck for this. We have a thousand pepperoni pizzas. You gotta be kidding. You don't know who the hell bought these. It the wasn't me. You, you owe $12,000. <laughs> hell That's no. That's a little. Do you even like pizza? Well, yeah, who doesn't, you know. Maybe she would know more. What the hell is it? Yeah, I know. We can bring them inside or the garage. No! Or... No, I pepperoni. only this thousand. I don't bar. care if they're a million dollars. I don't want this sh We did not order it. We did not pay for it. Now you take it back where it belongs. Figure it out. Well, what can he figure out? He's well, our, he's he's our boss, the boss, man. Who gave you this address? Boss, the boss. <laughs> he's the boss. <laughs> It was DoorDash. Who? Michael DoorDash. That's your name. What should we do with all the all the pizzas then? I don't know. Well, we didn't order them. Man, this is out of my paycheck. Give around the neighborhood. Hell I don't care. Okay. We didn't order them. Guys, I'm sorry, but you're on the hidden camera prank TV show. You're on the Practical Jokers. Did you want two free pizzas? No. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Almost everyone thought this prank was funny, but a couple people actually thought we were trying to run a legitimate scam on them, and they called the cops on us. So, How's what's going? going on? I'm getting told something about pizzas. I want like a troll video. As long as you're not being disorderly or yeah. trespassing. Passing on people's property. By all means, guys. You guys aren't freaking out. The actual officer who's in charge of the investigation is coming over here to talk to you guys. Okay? You down for the day, or I'll summon you to court and arrest you. What you've done is criminal. That's fraud, attempted theft. Oh, also, if I arrest you, I'll seize all your phones and take that as evidence because I will have evidence of you doing your video TikToking, okay? Leave Fishers now. We want to convince someone that aliens have invaded Earth and we are here to help them prepare for an attack. I don't know how someone would believe this. How's it going? Do you guys believe in aliens by chance? Uh, do you believe that camera right there might get you Sorry, man, we're just Sorry. filming a documentary. What's that guy's problem? Hi, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Do you mind if we have 30 seconds of your time? It could save your life. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're as real as ever. I've been abducted four times. I wanna show you this map here. This is kind of where our team's been scouting. This was the most recent one. This was about 10 miles away from here. So it's an alien? Extraterrestrial of some kind. It's a being. He saw the alien. About five minutes later, someone was killed right there. They don't know who did it? We know. No we know, I, yeah. it was that. Basically, we put like all of our data and facts into chat GPT and you know, other AI created by Doja Cat. Basically, it came back and said, there's about a 97% chance that there's going to be an alien invasion in the yeah. field. Do you care if we just show you a few ways that you could easily protect yeah. yourself? Sure. Aliens communicate through radio waves, and radioactive material such as tinfoil helps to fend them off. Oh, okay. So this is a hat. It was actually forged out of the heart of a dying star. Huh. They used some like infinity stones to make that. If I did not have that hat when I was abdu abducted, I would not be standing here right now. Full body suit. This is basically like a condom from your body against aliens. Yeah. Just feel and you can kind of almost communicate with extraterrestrial beings. Let's try it. Really out here just trying to, you know, train all the troops for the clan war attack. Have we, you know, helped you properly prepare for the invasion? Sure. You do believe us, correct? Yes, I do. We have these giant signs and some markers. We are going to have Gordo and Aiden write something super embarrassing on them for Brady and I each to hold up. You guys can literally put whatever you want. Anything? Oh, shit. Anything, right? Anything. I mean, it, like, this is not going to end well for our brand. I Dude, no, 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 this is funny, though. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. First you guys off. Uh, <laughs> well, that girl was like reading it, like mouthing the words. I have no clue what this says. But... I'm not looking at Hammy. Bro, how bad is this? That's messed up. <laughs> what is it? It doesn't even make sense, but like it's messed up. Bro, what is it? What does it Bro, say? Oh, wait, what no. does it say? Okay, put it down, probably. Why? Is it that bad? Bro, what? <laughs> What? He's about to dress up as an old man and try to buy alcohol in here. And I don't have an ID because I cut mine up, so I actually really need this yeah. to work. Perfect. While you guys are doing that, I'm gonna buy some stuff for some miners. We could just like steal. We don't even need a mask. Man, that's illegal. Why do you have a Trump hat on? I don't know, girl. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. All right. Good. I'm 169. Okay. <laughs> You look good for your age. Thank you, I appreciate that. ID. Tell me oh, your ID. Show your ID. I don't have to. I'm over the age of 40. Well, we don't know that. The mask isn't helping, so go ahead and show her. Okay, I have my ID. 
that's an old one when I was a little boy. That's not gonna work. Can't do it. All right. We're trying to get as much alcohol as we possibly can to go give away to random people on the street. We've actually spent hundreds of dollars on this outfit. So hopefully this works. Hello. Should be good not to get me drunk. It's like so sweaty in here, dude. I'm like losing my breath. How you doing today, sir? So I've got to look at your ID. I'm 98 years old, sir. I need to see your ID. And I think I need you to take your mask off. Yeah, we can serve you. <laughs> nice try. McLovin. I'm over the age of 40, though. No, you're not. You're holding up the line. Get the dope. I actually am 21, though. Ever since I came back from the war, nothing's been the same. Hey, guys. Huh? Take it off. Shut it off. We're leaving. Shut it off. You realize if you didn't walk over here, you wouldn't be on camera right now. It doesn't matter. It is against the law for you to film in a store without permission. Oh, is that true? It. You're just gonna waste the officer. You're just gonna waste the officer's time. I'm gonna tell some of the police out here. Can we get on our way or what? No. Okay, we'll see. Apparently, the liquor store owner is detaining us right now unlawfully. This country's just going down the hole. We're getting officers out there. We head out now. Nope. All right. Unless you have to. In my establishment. To leave, but... Okay, well then why did he tell us not to leave? Thank I you, want sir. want you to stop feeling. No, I ain't shaking your hand. Yeah, I get some respect. I'm an old man. He told you he was trying to detain us. <laughs> it sounds like the cops are after us. So we're gonna head to a Walmart for a little bit to hide out and I'm gonna try to buy some alcohol in there. I can't breathe. My grandfather, he's just wondering what he should try out. Here you a whiskey, did you? Jack yeah, Sanders? When we were younger, all the cousins would go over to grandpa's house and he'd give all the grandkids, you know, little shots of whiskey. We're probably 12, 13, but. Yeah. Uh, this will do. Can you drink all that? In one night? Yeah, probably. Excuse me, miss. I'm 85. Right. I recently had my license taken away because my eyesight's not the best, so I don't have an ID. Is there anybody who could just buy this for me? No. I have the money and stuff. No. Why not? Ask someone else. Oh, dude, look, 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 he's got... Look at her, she's staring at me. I think we're about to get kicked out. There's a security guard eyeballing Brady right now. No, I'm sorry. I don't want that. I was putting it in the cart for us. I'm not with you. I thought I came here with you. No. Hey, Grandpa. No, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Let's uh, go, Grandpa. You, you look like my ex-wife. Oh, oh my, wife, my I'm so sorry. Grandpa, you're, you're losing it? You know where you are? Are we at GameStop? No. We're gonna try to check out right now. There's a security guard approaching us, but I don't know what's gonna happen. How you doing? I'm gonna have to actually leave the store, please. Oh, uh, we're just buying alcohol. I understand, but we're not allowed to report it here, so I've got multiple complaints. So what were they complaining about? I need you to leave. Can he check out with the please alcohol leave. first? No. What did somebody complain about? Just like curious, out of curiosity. This is private property. No, I understand that. We're leaving. Uh, you have a mask. You look like an idiot. So get out of here. You both all are foolish. That's my I grandpa. Say. I look an idiot? No, you don't look like an idiot. That looks like it hurts, dude. Oh my. My entire life, I used to get made fun of because I had a big head, you know? That's actually how I met Brady back when we went to high school together. I made fun of his head. Probably did. <laughs> no, I, no, I did not. <laughs> Why do you have a speed shirt on? Bro, speed is the goat. We're going to try another liquor store. Thank you. Yeah, four loco. Four loco? Yeah. I can't find the damn thing. There's some right there. Oh. Right in front of me, my eyes are getting a little bad. You used to get white girl wasted on these back in the war. I don't need to show ID, right? I think you're 21. <laughs> I'm 97. Yeah. That dude has a mask on. Yeah, I know. You know? <laughs> Didn't know what was going on. Be nice. Uh, Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Let's go! That's not gonna be enough alcohol. We still need to get some more to hand out to people. Oh, yeah. We just walked right in. We did not get ID'd or anything. Going good, are you? 2781. Elvis is my favorite. How you doing, Dad? I'm doing good. How are you, son? Great. Just turned 85 last week. Praise the Lord. Need your seat. Have a good day, guys. You got your ID, sir. Owen and I are both over the legal age to buy alcohol. So if you're underage watching this, do not try this at home. <laughs> What's up, man? Do you want a case of free beer? Sure. Yep. He's 21, all right. There you go, man. Yeah. All right, bet. I'm going to drop money in front of her to see if she picks it up. I hate falling, it's so embarrassing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Did you shove me, sir? You got what? Did you shove me? Why would I shove you? You're over there, I'm over here. I just don't know how I just magically <laughs> fell. It's pretty rude for you to just kind of like shove me. What, do you work here? Yeah, why? Uh, this guy just, he shoved me down. Sir, how would I shove you? You fell this way. Just don't pay attention to him. Are you filming like a prank video or something? 
No! Oh, well, I didn't know that was your camera guy. Oh. <laughs> Are you being serious? No, I'm not being serious right now. <laughs> okay. Hey, at least... Uh, okay. No, you, you guys are going to have to get out of here. You can't, you can't film this video. I have to leave? Yeah. Does you, he, hey, stop, film, stop filming. If, since you're with them, you're probably going to have to leave, too. We can't have, like, what any filming in here. I don't... I'm not leaving. I'm buying something. Hi, how's it going? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. It's my persona. It's female. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm male underneath the suit. Okay. What did you say? You're cinnamon? Yeah, her name is Cinnamon. She's a wolf. I am very much into wolves. Are you staying at a hotel here? Yeah. She does cuddles in bed if you want. Oh, really? Are these yeah. real? Yeah. These are fake. Oh, can I? Can I? Go right in. You can also... Um... Oh, he can probably. Um, yeah. Uh, so... Did you want me to give you my telegram? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. You like your costume? Yeah, your body is a wonderland. After FurryCon, we went to the widest college in America. Have you ever seen an Asian person before? Yes, yes, I have. If you had to, like, you know, pick one race to like add a lot of students to come here, like, what race would it be? This is going to be a surprise pick, but I think I'll pick Native Americans. Why not Asian? I mean. He was your like favorite Asian person. There's a lot. Um, there is probably one I just, yeah. you know what I mean? If he asked me that question, I would probably respond and say Tom Holland, the Spider-Man actor. As he a, was is probably Is he actually? Is he? Yeah, he is. I didn't know that. Mm. Have you made like any friends here or anything that are like not white? Yeah. Classes, some friends introduced me. What's like some of their names? I, I might know them, I don't know. Um, shoot, I can't remember what her name is. Uh, uh, I can't. What race are you sexually attracted to? No problem. No problem? Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> anything. Yeah. I was like brown. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you guys want to go do acid? Yeah. You guys will just start to have a conversation and I'll kind of just stop it when I think there's been something said that's kind of anti-diversity. Uh, I'm Cal. Uh, I'm a horticulture major. What, what exactly is that? Uh, horticulture is where you work with production of plants. I would probably keep that to yourself. You could possibly take offense to that. One thing I'm kind of noticing with the cross legs, someone could be offended by that. Also, is this math? Math is a big part of it, yeah. I think some Asian people would actually prefer like, if you just ripped up your homework in half and stuff. I'm confused where plants are offensive. Asian culture, they do a lot of farming. Yeah, I, I guess I can yeah. see this. What's your favorite food? I like Chinese, and I'm also a big fan of pizza. Same uh, here. So he is a minority, Yeah. but also, uh, so, what do you think about this? I mean, I, I, um, I like, I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty, that's diverse. That's sick, man. I think I just made my first friend here, man. I feel like at that point he felt like he had to say Chinese. Yeah, dude. I felt like he was gonna say it. I don't know why. I just knew that he was going to. I'm not even Chinese. How's it going? I snuck into a private suite and just took whatever I wanted. You're not supposed to. Be. Go and get any food. I don't give a damn. No, you don't do that. Because you don't have tickets for the suite. So, I'll go back in there. So, I'll have oh. to call security if nah. you do that. I'm just messing with you. Okay. It's our suite. <laughs> I actually just got out of prison. I was selling fake high school diplomas. You need to just tell the truth. What offends you guys? When somebody tries to, like, belittle my competence. All right, so he doesn't really know what he's talking about. What about you? Um, nah, he definitely knows what he's talking about. You just tried to do it. I don't f with that. People think I'm like basically stupid or like, you know, like trying to be like, yeah. people try to yeah. act like you're inferior. Yeah, I can tell. He just right. didn't know how to articulate it. I'm interviewing people, I'm asking them what offends them, and then I'm doing it. So that's why I said that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I okay. We have a jar of pickles here, and the lid is super glued on. I'm gonna go see if someone can help me get it off. I'm about to go on a date at Five Guys with my cousin. Well, I need these pickles. I can't get it open. Can you, do you yeah, think you can get open? My hands are like, kind of like really cold. Do you think you can help me get this open? Like, Why is it all huh? leaking? Said it. Yeah. Just kidding. Uh, I don't think that's coming off. I think all that froze on there. Yeah, I can't get it either. Maybe try. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's not. Yeah. Now we're going to try to see if somebody will eat a tarantula for $50. <sighs> no one's going to eat that. <laughs> oh. no. The leg fell off. Maybe, maybe I should just try the leg. Yeah, do it. Oh, it crunched. I kind of swallow just about water. I don't think I would eat that for a million dollars, dude. Yes, you definitely would. No. This is a tarantula. Would you like to eat it for $50? No, that's OK. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's, it's like hairy. Would you like to eat a tarantula? I'm all right. <laughs> what, do I, what do I gain out of that? Uh, $25. $25? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, am I going to get sick from it or no? No, you no. won't get sick. It's, it's safe to so eat. This, OK, yeah. this is like a product. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. 
Oh, oh tarantula no. down the hatch. Oh, it's kind of nasty. It's really dry and no flavor. Yeah, I know, there is no flavor. Oh. <laughs> the hallucination will start to kick in in about 10 minutes. I lost the- You're joking, right? <laughs> no. Oh, wait, did we not tell you that? No, bro. Shut the f up. It's basically eating shrooms. You didn't tell him? Bro, I got finals. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Dude. My heart went. Imagine. <laughs> 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 you make yourself like 25 bucks, man. You guys are the best. Well, we're going to offer him 50. Well, he seemed his sight. Time for the scorpion. Basically, we're just going to see how much it would cost for someone to eat a scorpion. This one looks huge. I want that inside of me. Oh! It's like a mini lobster, bro. I don't know who in their right mind is going to eat this. How much you would pay? Uh, we're going to pay somebody 100 bucks to eat it. 300 yeah. got a deal. 300? Nah. 100 nah, bucks no. for real cash? Yeah. But do you want to do it? I'll do it if it's real. Oh, you want to do it? Yo. Yeah. <laughs> I need the money back. All right, okay. This is Brian. We met Brian a very long time it's, ago. It's, this is where we filmed like a lot of our first videos. I've never ever done some this. <laughs> Chew it and swallow it. What are you gonna spend the money on? I don't even know if I'll get past this. <laughs> you got this, man. Hundred dollars on the line. Oh, that's crazy. Just stuff it all in. Cheap. Ooh. Oh, let's go. He's finishing it. How is it? it tastes like scorpion. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Yeah. If that's a real hundred, I thank you guys because I have absolutely nobody right now. Oh, bro, you got this. Yes. So he's shaking. You guys have time to hit the subscribe button while he's chewing up the scorpion. Oh, oh. Whoa. He's almost there. He's doing it. Let's go! hundred dollars, man. Thank you guys so much. I ain't got paid in a month for my job, but in the meantime, yeah. this gonna help. Let's Honestly, go, man, man here's like here's like sixty more dollars. Yeah, take that. Are you sure? That's all we yeah, got bro. left. Yeah. No, no, no. No, we, no, no, we had no, extra, no. bro. Take it. Seriously? Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> no, bro. It's good, man. Guys, thanks. Man. You ain't no, done. It's no problem. Hey, Some of it's gonna go on my gas, and the rest is gonna yes, go sir. on my daughter's Christmas. Yes, so man. yeah, thanks. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. How easy is it for a minor to get a vape? To find out, Brady and I are gonna try to buy some vapes while acting like little kids. Hi, excuse me, ma'am. I got some money I made from a lemonade stand. Is there any way you can buy me a vape? We need nicotine. Are y'all old enough to buy? We don't have ID, that's yeah, it. No. I don't know if she's getting it for us or not. I think this is gonna be pretty hard considering we're dressed like little kids. All right, you guys gotta go. You gotta move along. For what? Huh? Asking people to buy you vapes and stuff? Oh, well, we have the money. No, that's illegal. Well, we're, we're, we're 21. Go. It doesn't matter. You don't have your ID. You can... I have an ID. We're not doing that. You guys gotta go. Frick! Man, could you buy me a vape? I'm sorry, please. Now, before I call the police. Why are you being mean? Hi, excuse me, ma'am. My mom found my vape under the pillow and took it. I don't have an, my ID with me. Can you buy me a jewel? No! Why not? No. Please, please. No! Please? I'm gonna stand over here with you. Don't touch me. <laughs> Do you think she's gonna snitch? Excuse me, guys. Our mom took away our vape. Is there any way you can buy us a jewel? We have money. <laughs> we have money. We have the money. We need a jewel. A device. Jewel? Just a device. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Y'all found somebody to get your one? Yeah. We got the plug. Y'all bad. Thank you so thank you yeah, so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes! We got the jewel. But now we're gonna go to a few stores and try to buy the vapor herself and see if the cashier will sell to us. Now this I don't know if will work. One vape, please. Bro, I can't sell today. I'm 14 and need a vape. What if we tip you like $10? It's nothing better for that. We have like a Fortnite party later and we see the vape for all the boys. Wait, why can't you sell it? Good Friday, brother. You gotta get your license removed? Yeah. What happened? Uh, the struggle ticket from Please. From selling to a minor? Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh -huh. So if we come back Friday without yeah. an ID, you can sell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can? Yeah. Well, okay. I want the blue raspberry Mr. Fog. If children just continue to get addicted to vapes, then people could actually die. Can I get a blueberry Mr. Fog? You don't want to buy anybody? Oh, I don't. Here, we just get it for me. I want the yeah. blueberry. Oh, that's what 25 bucks. Oh, there you go. Thank you. I'll pay you back since I'm underage. Just Venmo me. Well, I, I, I can't get Venmo because I'm not 18. I, I'm not allowed to like sign up. Thank you, sir. How, How much do you have? Oh, it spins. Yeah. Yeah, I got a, a graduation. Thank you. Graduation? Yeah, I just graduated middle school. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you guys spin. Beep. How about disposables are up here? Do you have prime flavor juice? No, I don't have. Uh, disposable, you, you can just throw it away, right? Yeah. We wouldn't have to worry about like mom finding any trash from it. I want to blow big clouds. I have friends that are professional cloud builders. Oh, really? And their cheapest one, you're looking at five, six hundred dollars. That's a lot of allowance money. Well, I cannot afford that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> That's expensive. <laughs> One of our hall monitors at school found his. Are you guys all 21? 
you're not 21, I can't have you in the store. 21 what? Your age. I could pay you, I could pay you. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm 22. I'm just buying him for him. He's not 21. You can spend three days in jail. Yeah. I, I understand. Well, he already has the money. Can I just wait outside? It does not matter. I get it. I just go outside. I'll come back okay. in. Sorry about that. I cannot sell oh, okay. any of you guys anything. One vape, please. Do you have ID? I have this from my work. Does it have your date of birth on it? No, but you have to be 21 to work here. It's probably the wrong thing. But it's not yours. Well, I know. It doesn't match your face. Yeah, I know. I can't make sales. One for 15. I'll pay 20. No. 60. We don't need do that. $100. Never. That's fine. I'm sorry about that. I understand. We'll just get like a hooker then. I can't oh make any sale with you. Can I buy a candy bar? No. You what the frick? You have to be 21 to buy these? Can you just take a picture of my license plate? Oh, uh, we're screwed. The cops are definitely going to come for us. Did Ooh. they call the cops? Yeah, they were calling them. <laughs> Doing? Trying to get buzzed. We're fiending right now. All right, I'll get this one then. It's gonna be hate for you, bro. Thank you, bro. Hard time getting them because I'm a minor. Yeah. Can you flash me your ID, bro? Huh? Can you flash me your ID? Nah, I'm 14. You're 14. Get the out of my store, bro. Give me that back. <laughs> Take your money back. Yeah. I'm just kidding, man. I'm not 14. <laughs> I guess he just assumed we were over 21. It's been a couple days, but we're back at the first gas station. The first time we was here, the guy said his license was suspended. This time, we have a giant group of kids, and we're gonna see if he'll still sell us a vape. Let's do it! Is this the same guy? Yeah. We have a big AEU tournament tomorrow, so we need a vape for the hotel room. I need the Mr. Fog. I want this one right here. I want the vape. We want vapes! ID? Oh, yeah. This should cover it. You have a You know, ID, ID. For what? For the vape. I want a Kiwi one! Kiwi, Kiwi, Kiwi! Uh, we're on a travel baseball team. No, bro, I can't give it out. How old are you? Uh, 21. But do you have ID? I need ID, bro. If I have IDs, can I buy them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, which one do you want? Which one do you want, guys? Hey, lemon! Rainbow the, the, Blast! We just need to make sure to get some of that, like, a uh, mom won't smell. Pink Lemonade, Mr. Fox. Yes. One. Uh, Two. Which one do you guys want? Blueberry! Lollipop! Blueberry Kiwi. 40, 40, 40, 40. Thank you. You guys decide for junior year this year? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> rip, rip, rip. Just a reminder, everyone here is over 21. If you're underage, you do not try this at home. Click here to watch our funniest pranks of 2022. And while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna go <laughs> man while I <laughs> <laughs> We can't put that in. Why?